In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create five options, street sign post, infographic slide in PowerPoint. And this is how the slide works. As you can see here, I've created a poll. And when I click the first option comes, you can see here option one, you can add the detailed text here along with the icon. And on my next click with a different color, it will come option two, option three, four, and five. And likewise, I have just created some more slides where, you know, it looks somewhat kind of a bend, you know, from the left and right like this. This also you can do it. Or if you want, you can just make it only the four options also, depending on your requirement. And if you have not subscribed to my channel, please subscribe it now and enable the bell notification icon as well as share and like my channel PowerPoint University. And if you'd like to contribute to my channel, you can do it through PayPal or Patreon. The link is provided in the video description section. So let's start the tutorial. Add a new slide, go to view, enable the guides, then go to insert shapes from the rectangle. I'm going to select the rectangle, draw the rectangle, maybe this much size, you can see here. And then shape outline, make it no outline. And I'm going to give a gradient fill. So it should look like a pole kind of thing. For that, right mouse click, go to format shape and select gradient fill. So by default, four stops will be there because I have used in the past. That's why it's showing three. So let me just uh, select the first of all, the direction should be, the type should be uh, linear. Okay. And then I'm just going to select the first stop and I'm going to give some a dark color or a black color whatever you can see here and the direction you can select any direction either linear right or linear left and here also the middle one i'm going to give some light color and then here again the last one again some dark color i'm going to give so it looks something like this and then go to insert shapes i'm going to select the oval shape draw the small oval shape by holding the shift key and shape outline make it no outline and i'm going to put it at the top something like this and this also i can select the gradient fill and here the type from linear i'm going to select the radial you can see here which is something like this and then maybe one of the stop i'm going to delete it and it looks something like this you can see here it looks like a 3d effect here so once this is done, let me just remove the guides and then I'm going to add one oval shape as a base or a foundation. For that, go to insert shapes, select the oval shape, draw the oval shape. You can see here, maybe this much size, shape outline, make it no outline and shape fill. You can give some dark color and then just send this to back for this also you can give a small uh, 3d rotation i'm going to select this one you can see here perspective relax moderately something like this and then go to format increase the depth so you can see here and if you want you can just reduce the size also something like this it will look like so this is the foundation and put it exactly in the center and if you want you can give some darker color also like this and make sure that it is properly aligned now i'm going to add the options for that go to insert shapes select the rounded corner rectangle draw depending on your size how much size and how much how many requirements you have so i'm going to select this shape outline make it no outline and shape fill you can choose any good color and then go to effects under 3d format top bevel i'm going to select this one which is the you can see here devote just put select like this so it comes like this or if you want you can select some different designs also depending on your requirement so it is looks very darker let me just make it somewhat lighter color so something like this and then go to insert shapes select a rectangle draw a rectangle which is going to hold from this pipe shape outline make it no outline and shape fill you can give some some dark colors you can see here and then i'm going to add one more uh, op shape here for this i'm going to select this press ctrl d to duplicate and go to format reduce the height you can see here you can reduce the height 
and then this color I'm going to select the color which I've used a uh, green color you can see here and this one I can make it somewhat light green and then I'm just going to put it here so still if it is not clearly visible then what I'm going to do I'm going to add black color you can see here black color here and add one more black color here and let me just zoom it and increase the size a little bit so that it looks something like this make sure that it is center aligned all those things so it looks something like this and still if you want to increase the the black color you can do something like this you can see here so it gives you this kind of a effect so this is my first one so now what i'm going to do i can just select this press ctrl d move it up a little bit give some gap and then move this towards the right you can see here and this also i'm just bringing it here and attach it so you can see this is two options ready i can press ctrl d and add four options like this or if you have uh, some more uh, gap you can add the five options also now once this is done it's time to change the color so here maybe i can go to format and give some different color combinations you can see here again i can give some a uh, light blue color here and then here for this i'm going to give a light blue so it looks like this a shining effect and for this again you can come here and maybe you can give uh, orange color like this and again this side also you can give some orange color and again in the center you can give maybe a yellow color so it gives more shining look so like this you can just change the other one also maybe you can go to more colors and whichever color you like better you can just choose maybe you can set it go for pink and again this also you're going to select pink here and here you can select somewhat lighter pink in the center so you can see here so the, the design is ready it's now time to give uh, the text or the options if you have the icons you can add the icons go to insert and icons if you are not using the latest version then this particular feature is not available so let me just select some random icons here I'm just going to select some random icons you can see here I need four icons click on insert bring it here and I'm going to give the height and width as 0.5 inches and then I'm just going to add one by one here you can see here just add one by one and then you can change the color to white graphic fill make it white and then go to insert shapes you can add one line here again give the color as a somewhat light color press ctrl d add one more here you can see here just add next to the icon all right now here you can add the text uh, with the title i'm just going to add your detail text here i'm going to make it white font century gothic reduce the font size and just add it one by one so you can see here something like this and if you want you can add some shadow effect also go to insert shapes select the oval shape draw oval shape shape fill make it black shape outline make it no outline and go to effects and you can see soft edges here increase the soft edges and then just put this shadow effect here and then send this to back or like this just click it so that it will be yeah so it looks something like this you can see here some shadow effect if you want the shadow effect also you can add below this each option also so the last thing uh, i'm going to animate so i'm just going to select this one you can see here without this uh, the colorful uh, 
here the object without that one you need to select all and press ctrl g so it becomes one group like this okay so i'm just going to select this one also and press ctrl g and here also i'm just going to select with the help of a mouse if you don't know how to do that one then you have to select one by one hold the shift key like this you need to do it so that will be a more time consuming whereas this one you can just group this like this and then go to the animations enable the animation pane i'm going to select this first you can see here and for this add animation go to more entrance effect i'm going to select stretch click ok and stretch make it from left so it comes something like this okay let me just move it a little bit yeah and for this also i'm going to give the same animation animation painter so it comes something like this and this should happen after previous and for this i'm going to select animation painter copy this one let me just move it a little bit and this one instead of left you have to make it right like this and again i'm going to select this animation painter click on this and this is also from right so likewise you need to do it one by one again i'm going to select this let me just move it a little bit and then again and for this i'm going to select this and this one so if i play it looks something like this you can see here 